So it is early morning again and I again don't want to wake up anyone. I uh, didn't have the time yesterday to talk about my thoughts on the England game um, as I was already pretty tired and I actually need to collect myself a little bit to be honest. And waking up I just have to say wow, it must be really really tough to be an England fan. Uh, the team I think started very very well uh, created chances, should have gone up by more than just a goal and then suddenly Tunisia comes back and I'm not sure how much it was that England let them back into the game or that Tunisia really is such a great side. My suspicion is more that England kind of leaned back a little bit and allowed Tunisia to come back to the game. Yeah, if that's the case it must be really frustrating. The penalty was really soft, I understand he was hit and it even looked like it was um, that the player wanted to hit the Tunisian player. I'm sorry, I don't recall the names at the moment. Uh, so from that point maybe justified but still felt like a, a soft pen penalty and then yeah England got unlucky with that one counter attack. I think Sterling missed. Uh, just by a hair a uh, ball that the Tunisian defender never would have gone, gotten and yeah uh, it was an entertaining first half and this England team actually plays well and I really believe that there's something coming for England uh, especially with the successes at the youth level sooner or later they gotta get something together I'm uh, quite optimistic on that front. Now um, the second half is a different story that was boring as hell and didn't help my tiredness. The first half actually kept me quite alert. Um, I think it's mainly down to that Tunisia did what most minnows at the World Cup do. They sat back, made spaces very tight and England didn't find anything that they to solve that problem uh, except when it was um, standards and a standard I gave them the winner, late winner by Kane, who has now two goals, both were uh, more or less on the rebound. And England is off to a good start. And funny thing is, I found myself that um, on a kind of roller coaster ride, for whom am I cheering for in this game? Uh, I didn't really have a dog in that fight. Um, at first, it was definitely Tunisia for, as for the underdog, but then I found myself more and more. Um, on the English side and I was actually happy that they got the winner. Um, not only for England itself but also because I think it's better for the tournament if we have England and Belgium advancing. Um, simple as that. Um, I said for Belgium I don't know what to, uh, what to th think uh, for them with my rooting interests. England is a similar story for me although I'm a little bit more defined as England not being one of my favorite teams. If they play Germany, I'm full in Germany's house, uh, in England's house, sorry. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I was always more bothered with uh, them and their splendid isolation idea when they still thought that they should win the World Cup, although everything pointed against them and that England was a regular and the quarterfinals was seen as a failure rather than what it actually was a really good coaching job. So for that reason I always had my trouble with uh, English, fa uh, English football and English fans and a little bit their delusion just because they invented the game. I'm all credit to them. Uh, they have not evolved sufficiently out of it and maybe now the change is finally coming where they realize yes we need to look at ourselves and see what other nations are doing better or have been doing better for almost half a century and well, more than that the Hungarians beat them in 53 that should have been the wake-up call already so more than half a century uh, English football doesn't reign supreme anymore they might do it again so uh, I'm curious to see that uh, one last word about the game on the goalkeepers uh, I thought the Tunisian goalkeeper that started the game made two excellent saves. I mean the one right ahead of the goal of Kane, the first goal, that was a world-class save. Um, just there should be a defender picking that one up. Uh, not allow Kane to score that one. But then again it was a poacher's goal I would say. Um, 
and then I, w I felt very sorry for him to be taken off the field. Uh, that must be a devastating blow. Uh, kit matchup looked okay. It was a very clean red and white matchup. I am still a little bit um, not very used to the all red England kit. But I see why this had to happen there. I think uh, if England would have played with navy shorts, uh, that would have looked odd. And Tunisia in red, I think uh, if you have white jersey and red shorts and red jersey and white short, that gets a little bit uh, confusing. So I understand why they did it that way. It looked all right. I didn't like the all red crest on the England shorts. That looked definitely odd. Uh, although I was thinking maybe they should have done that for an entire jersey. The England jersey itself um, looked interesting to put let la la last but with a positive spin uh, with all the bars and on the pattern on it. Um, on close up it really looks a little bit weird. But I get the all red aesthetic. It is simple, it is effective and it's yeah total contrast to what they were doing in the 90s. Let's put it that way. Well, let me know what you thought about the England game and England, how they played for you, uh, how you liked the matchup. How did you like Tunisia playing? I think Tunisia showed again what North African teams do. Uh, they are very well organized and uh, they have some gifted players, but they're just not strong enough. They don't have uh, really, really good players to really make a difference. Maybe that's where Egypt's Mosala being injured is uh, hurting most because I think uh, Egypt could be the North African team that really could do some damage. Well, I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.